especially for applications that require frequent off-road driving, there is the robust LF, specifically engineered for construction, recognizable by its matte black grille, high bumper, and robust galvanized radiator shield. The bumper is mounted high, providing a much higher approach angle in combination with an increased ground clearance, thanks to the use of straight beam front axles. This leads to excellent characteristics on unpaved roads. The LF19 tongue construction model will almost certainly get the job done in just about any sticky situation you may find yourself in. Sturdy, powerful, and versatile. The video you're about to see has been produced by the DAF Academy as an aid for you to become quickly familiar with the vehicle's features and their functions, and so help you get the best from the truck, whether you're the driver, the handover specialist, or the salesperson. In this section, we will look at a few features of the LF off-road or construction model, which has been purposely designed for this rigorous job. Of course, performance off-road is as important as on-road, and making sure you understand the driving features contained on the LF is key to that performance. Remember, the off-road vehicle will also be driven harder and a little differently than when on-road. Starting with a few key external features. Walking up to the vehicle, noting the increased ground clearance and raised bumper for a high approach angle. Access the grille by pulling here and you can see the clutch fluid which is only on manual models. And here the oil filler point and dipstick. Moving across you have the screen wash and above this the coolant header tank with levels clearly marked maximum and minimum. With off-road operations keep an eye on the air filter indicator. If it goes into the red, you may well encounter problems further on down the road. Incorporated in the front grille is a step, and using the two well-appointed grab handles, you can access the screen and check the condition of the wipers. Here we have the main light cluster with Lexan unbreakable protection. The race off-road bumper has also been designed to give maximum protection to the front end. And below this, the 3mm steel radiator protection plate. Moving round to the co-driver's side, unlock the door by pressing once for the driver door and again for the co-driver door. Here we have the cab tilt pump and the bar for this is in the tool roll inside the cab. Make sure loose items are stored away before you tilt and whether right or left hand drive, the cab tilt pump is always located on the co-driver's side. Moving down and behind the aluminium side guard is the battery box and fuel tank with lockable cap. And moving further down, check in tyre condition and wheel security. Moving round to the rear of the vehicle, check in lights and lenses. Moving along the offside, again check in tyre condition and wheel security. And here you have the add blue tank which is clearly identified by the blue cap. Next to this we have the engine after treatment system or EAS, with low velocity diffuser which we'll be looking at more in the regeneration section. Access to the vehicle is by the rugged wide steps. And when accessing or exiting the vehicle, remember the additional height of the cab, so always ensure you use the seat dump. OK, let's take the vehicle to an off-road site where we can demonstrate the main driving features. When driving in off-road situations in the AS-Tronic model, the situation becomes a little different, so engaging the hill start aid is a very good idea. Remember, the AS-Tronic cannot see the road ahead, and here for example, just nearing the brow, you can change to manual operation simply by pressing the auto manual switch to hold the gear if required. Prepare yourself for steep descents. Downshift to get the revs up above 2000 RPM to obtain maximum performance from the exhaust braking system during descent. And remember, keep an eye on the revs as over revving could completely ruin your day. Once at the bottom of the descent and depending on the off-road situation, leaving the exhaust brake active will allow it to engage every time you throttle off. Stopping on an incline on AS-Tronic models with the hill start aid active we have two seconds to get from the foot brake to the throttle with no roll back or roll forward. If you find difficulty in moving off, then select the cross axle diff lock giving a positive and direct drive from both wheels. 
getting you out of almost any sticky situation and not to drive further in with the possibility of getting stuck. Pulling up to the drop and in neutral with the clutch depressed on manual models or by selecting neutral on the AS Tronic, engage the PTO. By using the speed control, you can increase the engine RPM either in increments by using the cruise control or the presets by using the personal road speed limiter. Depending on the application you have and the programming of the PTO, you can then move forward to complete the tip with the PTO still engaged. On completion, simply turn off the PTO prior to pulling away.